What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the rest of Loafin series by me, the Red Ice Gamer. You should subscribe, by the way, because I'm trying my hardest here. Or not at this at this point with this series, I don't blame you. But yeah, do those things. Just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I know you guys been waiting. I kind of feel bad I had to separate this in like two episodes. But we getting back to the whole Kellogg thing because he's dead, and that's a good thing. At least he was in shape, and at least he was pure. I peer, I have purified myself of all sexual desires, and I'm about to have me a good old healthy breakfast. This is a large oven, but it doesn't have a door. It just has a wide open slot. Insert your flattened dough. You pop your dough into the metal tray, and ew. Uh, I didn't look at the instructions. There are only two knobs. Um. Um, there's this metal tray, helps me provide it, provide it, and slide it into the oven, and slide it into the, um, oven. There are only two knobs, two knobs for, um, temperatures, one for, um, one, one for direction. You decide to turn the knobs in order from left to right. The temperature knob is on, uh, on the left, so you turn it, uh, so you turn that the first one. And so you turn that, uh, turn that one as the first one. Are you paying attention? There's a, there'll be a quiz later! Find the temperature now. Uh, I'm gonna set it to minimum. Eight minutes. You set the time and now turn to the time now. Now you turn to the um time now. You set the time now to eight minutes and wait for the oven to finish. This. The oven um and the oven dough um. The oven dough in a perfectly cooked tra tray of toasty flakes emerges from the slop. You got an item. Kellogg's Grain Flakes. They're great! Nice Oh, Kellogg's! I, I, I know them now. That, that, that tiger. I, I, I can't think of his name now. I... I ah, oh man. I feel so behind. I feel so behind on things. But anyway, um, this is a bowl. Uh, this is a bowl of pressed, um, uh, pressed, of pressed grain flakes that you baked according to the Kellogg's recipe. Normally, I'm um, now. Normally, you would be proud of yourself for doing something like that. But those, um, but those look like they probably taste bad. Purify, um, purity your, um, purify your gut. Eat them. You eat the flakes. They don't taste very good. But then you don't taste really good. But they really scrape out your innards. You got the purity of grains. So clean. Speaking of, I'm just gonna go back to my food real quick because I realized I slept when I had um, my magic and mysticality. I know I don't have any more potted meat, but do I at least have another cow's tongue? No, I do not. Okay, so if it comes to magic, I'm basically fucked. But that's okay because I'm gonna have this thing. You know, this Kellogg's regiment that I'm pretty sure is gonna help me a lot. I'll, I'll keep these pants on until I'm actually done with it. Ah, here you are. The workout regiment. Now, let's see here. The workout regimen is warm up, stretches. Okay. More stretching. Okay, so one, stretch. Two. Okay, so I got stretch. Um, it's a stretcher 4,000. Insert your limbs! <laughs> sure! You strap yourself into the machine and allow and allow it to um flick uh, allow you to inflict some warm-up stretches on you. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So I'm all warmed up now. Now I gotta do a uh, lung press. It's the lung flex. <laughs> it's the lung flex. Uh let's see here. Um, suck on the, uh, bastion hole. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess it is the thing. You put your mouth on the, uh, bastion hole and turn, and turn the value on the side of the machine. <laughs> a blast of air, a blast of air inflates your lungs. Feels good. Let's do it again. Another blast of lung, uh, another blast of air stretches your lungs out even more. Feels great. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. 
This, this feels good. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it, guys. I'm really feeling it. Let's see here. Um, I have to. Okay, so I have to get in the stretching thing. Here, take my limbs again. You get back into the stretch stretcher, and when it's done, twist you around. You feel even more balanced than you did before. <laughs> okay, good. You you can keep my limbs. If that's the case. Um, let's see here. Um, skeleton vibration. It has to be this thing. It's the fi it's the fibromagic skeleton. Um, skeleton vibrator. Strap yourself in. You strap yourself into the machine and turn it on. Your skeleton vibrates inside you. You feel great. Let's keep going. Your skeleton vibrates more. We're feeling bones and muscles you didn't even know you had. You didn't even know you had. Had. You had. By making them feel amazing. One more go. Your skeleton undergo, um, undergoes a um, fearmatic threat. Uh, a, a, um... Theoretical round, um, a theoretical third round of vibrations. Every muscle of your body is now its is now exactly where it's, it's supposed to be. I'm not gonna keep going. And I finally end this by doing a cool down stretch. You strap yourself in the machine. You strap yourself into the stretching machine for a nice, relaxing cool down. Whoa! You feel great. That killer's guy was really on to something. Your whole body feels amazing. You got the Kellogg's um, um, brand period. Um, you got the Kellogg's brand purity perk, perk. Okay. So what does that do? I'm just gonna go down here. Let's see here. Purity of grands. Purity. Not purity. Is. Your body has been. Your body has been shattered. On, has been um, shattered on the altar of purity. Purity, and you have been reborn as more than a human. This description. This description is a trademark. Is a registered trademark of Kellogg's Ranch. Oh, it weighs my XP by um, by um, thirty. That means myself. Where's my XP? Okay, I can take more of a hit now. Well, okay, then let's see here. War Bean or, um, Buffalo Pile? I feel like I'm gonna need my stats more so up for the Buffalo Pile. But then again, the Buffalo Pile probably has to be doing something with Necromancers. And we gotta stop them damn Necromancers. You see what, um, you see what, um, you see what you take to be in the waste of oasis in the boiling heat of this region. You spur, your, you spur your Yoshi towards it. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't a mirage at all, but it's an evil, um, but it's an evil towering black stone and stone cow monolith. Anybody could have uh, made that mistake, really. Attack it! Darn, I don't have my muscle pants on. Shit. No, fine. We could probably still beat you. Yeah. Come on, dog, Alice. Shoot it. Okay, you kind of hurt. Pretty tough. Not tough enough for me. You still going down. This will happen when you try to face Clarence Kobe by yourself. Um, stone statue. You shattered um you shattered that um of that um obsidian mossy but uh, whatever. I got an um and a brass wing. I don't know if this is gonna get rid of the uh health thing. But uh, I, I just want my, in my wing, my wing. I, I realize I don't have my um, my muscle wing on. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. It's the partner. Whoa, the holy crap is this. You never heard of Buffalo, of the, the Buffalo pile? It's a huge bear, it's a huge burial, um, uh, it's a huge burial, um, mount, mountain, where, mountain, where, um, early settlers will put their, or early settlers will put their dead. And, and, and since, and since they had a ton of buffalo bones left over for killing and eating all, and, and eating them all, uh, and eating them all. Oh, that's what they've been burying them. That's what they've been burying them in. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What? Well, I was just thinking. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't expect them to be. I wouldn't expect there to be a big hole. A hole in a a big hole in the um in the side of it like that. Oh. 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 
Well, I guess I'm going in this hole. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. This place looks fancy. It's a weird, it's a weird, it's covered with a bunch of um, weird cards. Let's take one. Horse skull skeleton. Go on, look at another. Ancient L um, so grainy. Pesterized goblin, horrible. Yikes. Ducks from um, Ducks My Spider. What kind of game is this? Gore Spattered Duck. Disgusting. Gross. Horrible. Hmm, okay, I have to see a bunch of stuff here. It's covered in big beakers. You got an item. An oversized chemical beaker. Oh, I, I think I remember this. Um, This is just from um, another playthrough. Yeah, was it Milk, Blood, and Beaker? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm going off my um, memory of where I looked up here. Um, it's a gigantic pet. Collect some. You have no idea what you're trying. You have no idea what you're trying to make here. You sure you want to uh, mess with this stuff? Atop this, um, atop this slab, slab, there's a skeleton-shaped, um, whatever, ever with a buffalo, with a buffalo skull shaped and shaped into, it, um, into it, into it, whatever. Where the normal, um, inserted, where a normal human skull shape, shape indicator should be. That's a good, that's a good thing to keep in mind if you ever end up, if you ever end up in position of the necessary, if you ever end up in the, um, necessary possessions of the bones necessary to build the diagram. Leave the slab alone. Hmm, okay. You look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo, of, of um, buffalo men skeleton hybrids locked in here. And locked in here. Three um three to a cell. The keys um the keys are hanging right next to the door. You could let some out if you wanted to, but they look pretty angry. I'm gonna leave them to their cat Tiffany, partly because how much muscle do I have? How much muscle do I have? I have twenty five muscles. I guess if we if it was us something that we could just fight fight for, we could probably just fight them, but I'm not gonna take my chances. These shells are filled with these shells are filled with hundreds and hundreds of um with hundreds of um crates. Each full of buff each full of buffalo and human bones, carefully sorted. You don't really have any you don't really have anything specific you want to do with human human or buffalo bones right now. Though um bones right now. So, while you appreciate how organized these guys are, it's not really anything for you here. Okay then, what is here for me? This place is scary. They should they should really use they should really use um shattered can candles in here. I mean scented candles in here. Yes, they should. This is clearly this is clearly the good toilet. That's what. Master of flush. Oh boy, what, what is this getting me? Master of Flush, Master of Flush, come on. W w where's my Master of Flush? Ah, here we are. Your flush, your toilet flush and muscles are in, um, are in, are in fantastic shape. Three more muscles, hell yeah. And that means that weighs his meat. No, I, I don't want that. 24, maybe I can go back and take those skills. This is cl this is clearly the bad toilet. I'm gonna flush anyway. Whoa! There's a pile of trash next to the bad toilet. Dig through it. There's a pile of, there's a pile of trash next to the bad toilet. You got this. You got the um, discipline slip. Hmm, discipline slip. That's weird. Looks like one of the necromancer cultists got written up. Two more, uh, two more of these, and he'll be, um, and he'll be, um, and he'll be, um, ritualistically sacrificed. Well, um, evicted. Nothing personal, just corporate policies. That's examining. You read over the information listed on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists, cultists was, um, gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious. 
You stick, uh, you stick, slipped into your journal. I can check on that. Let's see what's this journal got. You open up your next man's journal and examine the information you collected so far. The wall behind the wall receipt you found, you found, um, you found that has let you, um, has let you decree that next man's layer is west of the mountains. Okay. Now it down locations. Okay, okay. The cryptic note you found at the uh, health out in your grants. Okay, oh, we did that. You found a discipline slip that mentions dangerous mushrooms, but you don't really know know what to um, do with the information. If only you knew, uh, if only you knew more about um, microcosmos. Okay, so I need to find someone that knows mushrooms. No shrooms. Probably the hippies. It's a splat. It's a splattered cult. It's locked. I have plenty of needles. You pick the lock. You got a black hood. You got a bottle of um. You got a bottle of buffalo um. Whatever that word is. And meat. Okay. It's an arousal. It's a decent. It's a decent sized wardrobe. Hide it. I don't hide. I don't hide. It's empty. Skulls. Yeah, plenty. Plenty of skulls. There's a weird looking leather bound tome on this pedestal. You got the fundamentals of necromancy. I can't read that because I have Dark Alice. This one, um, this one has a serious padlock on it. I'm going to open it anyway. You pick open the lock. You got the Buffalo Soldier Diagram. You got some grave dirt. I can pop. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, remember that ghost that thing in the first um cemetery? I can do that now because this is the uh, new sketch, um, new profile. Yeah, I have. Oh yeah, wait. I need human ashes. I have to check if I still have those human ashes. Yeah, I got me a gold skull. Well, let me look at this stuff. It wasn't enough to get a gold tooth. This person had their entire skull replaced with gold. I wonder if they survived the process. Just sell it. It's like regular dirt, but spooky. Hmm. Buffalo soldier diagram. This is um this is a uh, detailed diagram of one of those buffalo skeleton hu uh, one of those buffalo skeleton human skeleton hybrid thing thing. They're making that buffalo pot. Gives you um raising skeleton buddy perk. This book contains some of the basic rituals and incarnation and incarnations of necromancy. Enough to get a single skeleton up and moving around at least. This heavy glass, um, this heavy glass bottle is labeled Buff, um, Buff Out, Buffalo Tranquilizer. And this, um, and it has a, a handful of pills, and pills red all around it. Black Hood. This is a strange kind of hood, hood that, um, hood that minions of the necromancers might wear. Or, you could wear it and wear it, I guess, since you got it now. You hear a lot of activity down that um down that core there corridor, shuffling, shifting, the shifting of robes and clattering of bones. Scary stuff. You really shouldn't go down there. Hmm, okay. Well, this is I know. I did look up some of the side quests. I will admit that, but um, Markiplier, yeah, thank you because he was the one that figured it out. I'm just going off memory here. Um, let's see here. You don't know what this stuff is. Yes, um... Blood Milk Icker. You open the bottle, you open the, uh, bottle of fragrance and build up beaker a third way, a third way up. Yeah, it was, um, blood... You open, the, um, milk fences and pour some milk into the, um, hallway. The, be the liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Watch the reaction. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction manifests. The um in the intensive heat heat of the um intensive heat of the realm of the reaction fuses fuses the um beaker, bothering um splittering into a um useless mass of material. How will it end? The boiling substance substance and what's left in the beaker is yes. Tell me, tell me. When your reaction subsides, you're left with a beaker of revolting black fluid. 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 
And what's even and what's even more is that more is that it's useless revolving black fluid. You pour it down. You pour it out on the floor. Um, you pour it down the uh, floor drain before it um before it disappoint um before it disappoints you any further. And then discard the beaker. Take that um take that black fluid. Start. What was it? Was it milk blood beaker? Damn, I'm trying to remember this because um. Cause I know if you mess this one up, then you can't um do it again. Or does it have to be in that order? Oh darn it! These shells are filled with hundreds of um Atop the slab there's a skeleton um there's a skeleton shaped indicator where the uh, buffalo um let's put bones in place. You lay the bones in the direction, unsure of what to do next, you grab I'm unsure of what to do next, you grab pound um you grab powdering bottles and supplies from the um various shells, shells and drillers and work on the skeleton more or less at random. Some bones are glued here, some artifacts are ligaments here, some horns some horn polish, well, on the horns, and one was um, and one was pretty obvious. Now all you need is hmm hmm the um the funeral at the top says pour we um pour we um fluid here. Looks like you're gonna need to do some um we um fluid. You'll be unable um You'll undo all of your work and connect the neck bone. Yeah, uh, you likely, um, you likely you need, um, it looks like you need some, um, reincarnation fluid. You undo all of your work and collect the bones. Okay, so I can do that. It's just the, um, know what? Let's, let's see how tough you guys are. I won't fight. Let's do this. But I'm kind of pissed off I didn't um, get to do that other thing. Don't waste my skill by 16. I don't care how mad y'all are. Y'all going down. Oh shit, y'all pretty powerful. Oh, but they don't hurt. They don't hurt me at all. Either that or I just have too much health. Wait, oh, those are bones. These are muscle guys like me. They use a muscle to fight. So that's why it don't hurt me. So I must not have more muscle than them, because I'm hurting them. Yeah. But man, is this fight gonna take me a good minute. So, how's it going with you guys? Hmm? You doing fine? I will admit, some parts I did look up. This one I'm just remembering from um, Markiplier's Let's Play, you know. He's actually one of the reasons I'm doing this game. The only difference is he didn't do all... I got the game for myself and found just a bunch of side quests to do. How much do y'all give? More than the, um... Robot thing. And Dog Alice can level up here. Okay, so I might have to come back here. I would go on and kill all those guys. I really want to. I'm gonna hide in here. You settle in amongst the uh, fake black robes. It's pretty comfortable. You wait and you wait and wait, and finally hear some noises outside. Outside, as a couple of cultists pass through on their way on their way from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they're saying, thing. But um, what you do hear is remember what the big guy said: blood before ichor. Starts with um, start with the um, soldier's figure. You wait a while, the cultures pass through again. This time you overhear something different. No, no, remember the wisdom? Milk before blood. Blood, um, we, um, which rattles the, um, dud. You wait a while longer and longer and the cultures pass through again. This time you hear something different. Get it straight, dingus. Milk before, um, Icar. Soldier wakes up quicker. 
milk before it could soak it with the cooking. But hell, here's the thing, well, let me do that again. Yeah, milk, blood, eager. Yeah. Well, so much for that. Oh well, let's go on to War Bean's house. Your transporter start making some beeping noises. That means either treasure or monster monster and who could resist that gamble not you at least not in this encounter anyway your in anyway your involuntary wish is well rewarded when you find when you find a high level crate sadly it is low i can use a key you cross your fingers as you fit it with the uh, crate one of your valuable keystones opens up to reveal your five pretzel scraps and that's it war bean House of Justice and Jelly Beans. What do you think, Dog Alice? Why, Bean? House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Weird. Maybe the signs. Maybe the signs letters wrong. Wrong. And it means. And it means to just. Uh, and it meant to just ice and jelly beans. That's only. And that only be a tiny bit more. Um. More uh, sensible. Yeah, it probably would. Let's move on here. Wait. I, I saw stuff out here. Sir, why is your toilet and mirror outside? Enjoy the sight says you take a shit? Seems good. Where is these even hooked up to? Flush it and see! Yay! Roy must have preferred to perform his mood and his morning um absides outside. Perform some of your own. Hey there, Dog Alice, you followed me. Don't really, don't really see the attraction to telly beans, uh, You prefer, you prefer liquor, um, you prefer liquor sodiums all sorts, like my grandma. I prefer lemon drop, I prefer lemon drops, but I'll be a jawbreaker, breaker, if, I'll be a jawbreaker if you compare me to your grandma again. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay, sorry. There's a sign. There's a single yellow bean, yellow bean here. Bean here in this crate with a sign. Um, with a sign that says, uh, that says, um, Crimson Murder Honey, um, Murder Honey Jelly Bean. Very rare. Six hundred meat. What kind of li um, what kind of um, liberti uh, libertarian world uh, libertarian would pay six thousand meat for a single jelly bean? Not this kind. That's for sure. Platoon! It's a platoon. Nothing special about it. There is always something special about platoons game. Always. As soon as as soon as you get near the platoon, you can smell the overpower you can smell the over wincing sweet stench sweet stench it 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 squeaks. Nauseating nauseatingly sweet. A nauseating sweet. Like a rotting corpse of dead like a of a dead gummy bear. Leave it alone? That's look inside. Generous, um, 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 glitterous, whatever. Rainbow colored, swirled together, swirled together in a congested, um, telepathic madness. Madness. Is war being used in jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. Hey there, guys. Sorry I had to cut out this platoon bit. I'm seriously thinking of replacing this, um, capture card. But let's get back into this. Basically, my hand is now permanently dyed with the worst colors of the rainbow, and I got me a pistol. We'll probably make a patoo sound when you shoot it. Uh, deal stints damage and stair physical damage, six moxie. Man, I had me a good time reading that one too. Okay, let's go on into this. Howdy, my name is, um, howdy there, pil um, pilgrim. Pilgrim, my name is what? My name name's War Bean. Why, wow, hello there, War Bean. I'm Clarence Kobe. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was about two things: dispatching justice and dispensing jelly beans. 
I was the biggest name in bounty hunting, b- in bounty hunting and, kill- and candy selling. And um, anyone ever heard of me? Gosh, what happened? Well, ain't nothing particularly. Um, ain't nothing particularly tragic. Got old as all. Hung up my pistol for good. He points to the wall. Look at the wall. He points at an empty hook. He points at an empty hook on the wall over his platoon. Oh, uh oh. You're not getting your gun back, and I will fight you. You're not getting your gun back. I'm, I'm sorry, pal. I'm really sorry. It's mine now. You won't win anyway. Touch my hand. Touch it. I'm still, I'm still selling, I'm still selling some jing, I'm still selling some jelly beans from time to time, from time to time. But they got, um, um, but they all out of fashion, fashion. This old place just, um, this place, place is just a jelly bean museum now. Seems like the sign out front isn't very, um, accurate then. Seems like the sign out front isn't really accurate then. How, how, how do you mean? Well, um, well, if you aren't dispensing justice anymore, maybe it's just it, and maybe you just say it's a museum. Hmm, got yourself a point. You got yourself a point. For the jelly bean museum, for the jelly bean museum, I'm sure I, I sure don't see very many jelly beans. Oh, bless his cooking, cooking, shady character stole them all, all three jars, I, all three jars, it's supposed, um, it's supposed I'm thinking I'm, it's supposed I'm thinking I'm a soft target, now that I'm tired, oh, that sucks, I'll help you, I can get him back for you, I like helping people. Well now, well now, I certainly appreciate the assistance. Can't offer much in the way of reward, but I can tell you where, tell you which way the first group of fees went. If you happen to, um, if you're heading out in that direction, you discovered a new map location. Location: Jelly Bean, um, Jelly Bean Thieves Hideout. All right, punching some Jelly Bean Thieves. What else got in here? Your bed. Alright guys, I'm trying to keep an eye on my scene to make sure it doesn't stop recording again. I don't know if I can get that Ika back thing. Out in the open desert amongst the walks and dunes, the dunes and under dunes and underneath the scorching sun, the scorching desert sun, you encounter a chef that's probably that probably doesn't look at all that um strange. Well, um, strange. Well, it's, um, compared, but um, compared. Comparatively, but hold on, but hold on, why, but hold on, why get more into that detail? He has some. He has somehow hauled a full-size iron portable oven oven into this um blast into this uh, blistering hot, um, hot hold hot hold and is cooking something on it on it. Though so you can't tell tell what it is because you see it because uh, you see it in the pan of a fire rather than being um drenched rather than being drenched in sweat sweat. He is literally, um, steaming, steaming. Hmm, okay. He's literally steaming. Furthermore, furthermore, he is muttering what, um, weirdly to himself. Hotter than hot. Hotter than hot. Gotta cook, I uh, gotta cook, cook, cook. And the weather needs, uh, needs to be hotter than hot. Hmm. That's frightening. That isn't hot enough. I, I know. It, it's not hot enough. I, I know. If it, it will never be hot enough. Ah, no, no, nah, no, hotter. It can't be hot enough. It can't be hot enough. No, no, it's impossible for it to be hot enough. <laughs> the chef runs away into the desert, screaming, screaming. As you watch him go, there's a um, there's a um, clock behind you. As the door of his oven, uh, as the door of his oven falls off, falls off and hangs around the um. And um, hence it's having melted, melted fruit. Hmm, you got a stove, um, you got a stove door. And for the experience, don't mind if I do. These guys look mean. You think that, you think these are jelly bean washlers? I, I ain't expect, uh, I ain't, um, certain, certain what a jelly bean washer would look like, sonny. Well, it's whistling, well, it's whistling anyway. What is it, um, what is the difference from, um, what is the difference from, um, stealing, um, regular stealing? 
uh, go ahead and go ahead and keep asking me these questions. I'll let you know if I find an answer an answer to uh, if I find any uh, either from my mansible. You'll answer my questions one of these days, dog Alice. One of these days you will. Mm, let's see here. If there is one thing that is true in the West, it's that a well uh, that a well um, polished oven oven door can turn the tides of any battle. I don't know where you went by, just equipped it. You approach the bandit settle around the fire. The meanest one, uh, the meanest one speaks up. Don't know what you think you uh, don't think know what you think you are, stranger. But stranger, but you better turn yourself right around and head back to wherever which you came. Unless you um, unless you want to eat late. Well, that's not very neighborly. Take a hike, neighbor. Take a hike. You fellas, uh, you fellas stole a jar, you fellas stole jelly, um, you fellas stole a jar of jelly beans from the old man. I ain't about, I ain't having to, um, I ain't having to turn back. Oh, is that right? Oh, is that right? Just how are you, um, planning on doing that? Hmm. With words. With craziness. Why? Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack you and your fellas will probably take me down. will probably take me down, but I'm fast. I'm gonna get my hands I'm gonna get my hands on one of you and I'm gonna pop out both of your eyeballs with my thumb. And then I'm going to put my mouth and then I'm going to put my mouth and chew them up <laughs> and then with my mouth I'm going to chew them up like they're um, like they're a couple of um like they're a couple of them jelly beans you stole and if you haven't killed me by the time I'm done by the time I moved on to the next fella <laughs> if by the time we go to the next fella so if so if one of your own boys was to treat your eyeball for your of goddamn candy why <laughs> don't you go ahead and step forward the pigeon slowly back away and continue back away until they run out of sight. <laughs> you gain 150 experience. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat that more properly later. Or a voiceover, possibly. <laughs> Good. Did I get the jelly beans? Where are the jelly beans? Where are they? I, I want them. A foot. Uh, a filthy. It's a filthy bed roll. It's the missing jelly beans. <laughs> you got the mint mint jelly beans. The bandits, mom. The bandits food manager supply. They are. Uh, they shouldn't have been robbing grocery stores. Now it's mine. Got me some soldier collectibles and um, whatever that thing is. It's a crate of ill gotten goods. Mine now. Got me a can of um got me a can of stuff, handful of nails, and enough of headband. I can probably sell um sell that. A pretty neat bed roll bed roll that how um, that that must have stunk. they must have stolen it from a hiker or something. Damn them. It's a sealed crate. Not sealed anymore. Got me some more dynamite. Neat bed roll. Got me some cheap tequila, a needle, and some more um meat. Okay, time to get back to War Gene. We're gonna give him these jelly beans and um Oh, let's see here. You notice a black you notice a black spot at the base of the mountain mountain to the east. You feel compelled you feel compelled to go and investigate. You discover a new location. Madness Mall Mine. Sure thing, screw the old man. We go in here instead. Uh Okay, on second thought we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Just subscribe. No, what? Don't just subscribe. Beat that subscribe button. Or you could take that subscribe button's eyes and chew them like some jelly beans. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can do that. In my honor, it's the Red Ice Gamer. And I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, later.